Today, I am still broke as shit and unemployed, but that's not going to stop me from configuring another great dream car that I can't afford. So today we're doing the 2024 Integra Type S. Um, this is a updated version of the original Type S from the early 2000s. Um, let me pull that. Fucking shit, dude. Ah, fuck. All right, sorry about that. Um, Integra Type S. I'm just trying to pull up this thing. Um, 2006. All right, so I think the last one was in 2006, but you can see that this is like the 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 famous Type R, the old school one. It was this one from like 2000 some shit. Um, this yellow one was the one that you see in like all the racing games and like Fast and Furious and stuff. And then the last one they had, which was in 2006, but that one wasn't that great. Um, the, the the yellow one you see here is like a classic and i think this is now a collector's item like every car enthusiast can recognize this car even if you don't know the name um it's basically like it's in the same ballpark of like the nissan r34 um same ballpark not same tier so don't fucking tell me i don't know what i'm talking about the same ballpark because it came during the same era, it had a really crazy impact on car culture and is iconic. Um, I'm not saying it's on the same level as a uh, R34 Skyline. Um, but anyways, iconic car, and we're going to build the new rendition of this, which is the 2024 version. Um, to give a quick overview, the top of the line model is 320 horsepower at two point, with a 2.0 liter engine, um, turbocharged. Uh, so for about uh, starting base price price is thirty one thousand dollars, but I'm pretty sure to get the three hundred twenty horsepower is going to be closer to forty thousand dollars. So um, for a new forty thousand dollar car, three hundred twenty horsepower isn't too bad. Um, it could be higher, but for the practicality and for having four doors and trunk space and stuff. Um, not bad for for what you get out of the factory now obviously when you buy this car and you're a car enthusiast you're probably going to tune the fuck out of it and make it go up to like 500 and that's going to be a fucking beast um but anyways we're going to build this and um and see what options they have um and i am still unemployed but that's besides the point because today i'm just gonna oh look you see this Look! Look at this price. It's already at fifty-one thousand. So yeah, it's funny how the base price is all at thirty thousand. By the time I'm done with this, it's gonna be almost sixty thousand. Anyways, oh, they got the yellow here. Blue looks look good. White looks kind of basic. I'm not a big fan of that here. Red might be the best option. Uh, black is sick too, but it's, it, that's too boring. Um, this actually looks nice, silver. I think we all know, or I know, I'm going with the red. What's this? Yeah, we're gonna go with the red. Um, and that's all the exterior color options they have. Um, wow, the interior looks fucking great. I really like that steering wheel. Um, my only gripe is I'm, I really hate the dash, how it pops up. Like in my GTI, the dash is down here and it, it, it's more seamless because when you're driving, you want this to be as clear as possible. And I feel like when you have the panel up here, it kind of just blocks, it, it interrupts the line of the dash. And I, I hate that. Like just move it down here. And I feel like a lot of car designers are following a really dumb trend and they're scared to to just do their own thing um this is annoying but fuck it uh, um you gotta live with it i guess but aside from that i like the physical buttons that's a huge plus um stick shift is amazing i personally don't know how to drive a stick shift but if i would get a car like this obviously i'm down to learn it um and i know it would be a fun experience uh 
I really like this um, mesh look where the AC is. I like the knobs. Uh, my favorite part is the pedals and the we the uh, steering wheel. Uh, the dash is functional, nothing too fancy. I, I like that a lot. Um, it's not too busy. I'm a huge fan of this so far. Like I said, a lot of trunk space. That is amazing. I actually just assumed there was a lot of trunk space because I haven't seen this myself yet. But that's really sick. Um, and I can see there's speakers back here. There's probably the subwoofer. Um, that's really awesome. Seats are pretty normal and nothing too special. I like the contrast stitch stitching. Uh, yeah, overall looks good. Not a lot of options. <laughs> you, you literally get what you, they give you. You can't really customize anything, I'm guessing. So there's that. Um, you can't even do the wheels, huh? This is interesting. Okay, so you could do the black emblem. That's an $80 option. Uh, it's $240 just for the black option. Yeah, I'm not. Fuck that. I'm not going to do that. Honestly, in the front, um, uh, yeah, all right. In the front, I like it to be blacked out. All right, we need the light projector here. Um, spoiler, sure. Yeah, we'll spend a thousand dollars on a spoiler. That's probably not going to do anything, but sure. Six hundred dollars for a carbon fiber fiber mirror cover. That is a ripoff, but we're gonna add that just because it looks cool. All right. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the door visors. I don't ride a bike or kayak. I don't need the roof thingy, the roof rack, body side molding. The fuck is this? Body side molding is that I is ideally positioned where the side panel extends out the farthest in order to help protect your finish against door nicks and chips. What? What the fuck does it do? Oh, it's the stupid thing. Nah, I don't like that. Let's keep that out. Car cover, we don't need that. Splash guard, I don't need that. Um, doormat, sure, I'll spend $300 on some fucking doormats. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at those doormats. Yeah. Illuminated door sill trim. Nah, uh, sure, let's do that, because it fucking lights up. Heated steering wheel. Oh, we gotta do that. Shift knob. How does that look? Oh. Yeah, um... Yeah, let's add the shift knob. I like that look. Alcantara, nope. Don't want Alcantara. Alright, this is all just whatever. Alright, so my quote is $55,000. Um, we will just round it up to $60,000. Alright. So a brand new... Acura Integra Type S is $60,000. It's a great car. Honestly, for $60,000 and only 320 horsepower, it's kind of a tough sell. I'm going to be honest. Um... I was hoping this was going to be a $40,000 car, but it's almost it's going to be 20,000 more over the my expected price. And for 320 horsepower and it's it's this car's going to depreciate. It's not a collectible at all. Like <laughs> like off the bat, this is going to depreciate. Like 15 years from now, you could buy this car for $15,000. Um Yeah, I mean, it's a good car. I'm just really disappointed at the $60,000 price tag. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is my specs. 
if I was rich, I probably wouldn't get this car because for sixty thousand dollars, you could get something a lot better used at a lower, a, a pretty low mileage. Um, something I'm thinking about is like a used Audi RS3. Let me pull up. Okay, so this is sixty thousand dollars for a Acura Integra Type S, which is three hundred twenty horsepower. For about the same price, you could get a pretty new um, like. Let's see. You can get a pretty new Audi RS3. You see this? I, I know this is news. So you're not getting a zero mile car. This has 13,000, but it's practically new. It's the same price at, at $60,000. The thing is, you're, you're basically you're getting 400 horsepower for a higher quality car. This is an Audi. Like, this interior is so much better. Like, hands down. There's not a stick shift, I know, but for the performance, for the luxury, for the look. And this is an all wheel car. Um, this is a front wheel drive car. You could get an all wheel drive car for 400 horsepower, a better interior, better quality build, and just a, in my opinion, an overall better look for for the same price but the only catch is you just got to make sure it has a good you know history because you're gonna get it used but honestly I would rather get this and if you if you do a stage one tune if you get this thing ECU tuned it could easily be almost 500 horsepowers that's 500 horsepowers if you buy this car used drop on a tune which is probably like six hundred six hundred dollars six hundred to a thousand dollars and you have a 500 horsepower car that looks better than this new car. So that's just my perspective. But anyways, um, that's my overview of the Acura, the 2024 Acura Integra Type S build. And um, I will doing I will be doing more builds in the future, more car reviews, more video game videos, maybe some fitness stuff. Um, career updates and just overall random shit.